Yo, man, what's going on with y'all boys, man? Stay tuned, coming at y'all boys in another video. Today, bro, we reacted to Logan Paul. So apparently, apparently, man, Logan Paul finna fight Floyd Mayweather. But I don't know how the fuck this nigga, I don't know how he pulled that off, bro. But anyway, he the GOAT for that, bro. But he finna damn near get his ass whooped, no cop. But if Floyd take this ill, it's gonna be OV for Floyd. They ain't gonna hit the end of that one. That one gonna break the internet for sure. But... Anyways, he said, he talking about he FaceTime Floyd, bro. I seen this. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I definitely got to react to this mother, bro. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into it, bro. Before this video starts, anyone who goes to MaverickClothing.com gets a piece of our new Maverick Smirk collection. In the next seven days, it's automatically entered in a giveaway. We're going to be giving 100 people to fight for free, and 10 people will get free tickets to the Floyd Mayweather Logan Paul fight in 2021. MaverickClothing.com. You get your Wow. Floyd Mayweather, he is going to make a big event for boxing a guy, a YouTube star who's twice his size. Floyd is so much smaller than him. Logan's a big guy. I got the one punch Logan KO. Why they do Could him you like imagine that? if he did? Why did Floyd like that? If he's the one to give Floyd Mayweather an ass kicking, it would be the most no. insane moment in sports history. The fact that Logan's getting in there with the greatest of all time, he's already won. Watch the shit out of that. I watch out of it too. I'm just as shocked as you are. I mean, how did we finesse a boxing fight against one of the best boxers on the planet? <laughs> what started off as YouTube boxing and it just but that nigga three years vain is here, bro. this unstoppable form of entertainment and coming off the back bro. of my brother absolutely demolishing Nate oh Robinson. God. It's clear to me now that there really is no ceiling for this. If you told me three years ago, which was when I started boxing, which by the way was at Floyd Mayweather's gym, that I would be fighting Whoa, Floyd Mayweather that himself, gym? I'd laugh at you. And I remember when Floyd fought Ooh. Conor McGregor back in Holy 2017, shit. how excited I was to watch a crossover event of that magnitude to occur. Two showmen, larger than for... life personalities, like warriors from different worlds, He's and afterwards I actually day. said this. Congratulations guys, I hope to make a piece of content with either you, Floyd Mayweather, or Conor McGregor one day, but I had no idea Damn. that that content would be me fighting Floyd Mayweather. When my manager Jeff asked me six months ago if I'd fight Floyd Mayweather, uh, just like the rest of you, I scoffed at it. Why would that ever happen? Obviously yes I would, but also politely go f yourself. So I'm at my ranch one day and Jeff calls me up and says, uh, go hop on one of Floyd's meet and greets that he's doing on Famio, who actually ended he's up buying a flight ranch. and making it happen. But just go chirp a little bit, talk to him, say what's he's up. Dead, Next thing dead. you know, uh, <laughs> I'm talking shit to the greatest boxer on the planet. I got a question for you. You down to fight me? Yeah, I'm a fighter. The thing is, you know who I am, but I don't know who you are. I know you're lying for a fact. Floyd, I've been in your gym so many times. You've been there, we shook hands. I said, hey, what's up? You say, hey, what's up? I mean, I know who you are. So you're losing your memory? I don't know who you are. That sounds like memory loss. That's a thousand people on the internet. That's it? Only a thousand? Hey, I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question. I'm the dude who stole out the Staples Center fighting another YouTuber. What I want to do with you is create the biggest fight the world has ever seen. Without you, I would do that. Yeah, I don't think so. He said, I fight for real. You, you don't even about. know who I am, but I know this would be one of the biggest fights in the history of the internet. Ever. Ever. There is no bigger headline. Yo, who made this call, please? I got it. That's what Damn. Oh, he ain't happy about that one. <laughs> Dang, so then he gonna have to see him in the room. Or pissed him off or something, because a few weeks later, I was presented with an actual contract. Can you, read the can you, can you go ahead and zoom in on that name? Oh. No, yeah, oh, you don't know yet? Does Junior mean anything? Yeah, it means not the older Floyd Mayweather. Oh. The younger one <laughs> defeated. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna sign you a little fantasy contract. But until I'm in the ring with Floyd Mayweather, Junior, I'm not gonna believe that I'm fighting. Hollywood's worst signature. He's Hollywood's worst signature. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Damn! Huh? So then this opportunity <laughs> What's the so worst that could happen? Because I start training and I'm not really good at multitasking. You know, they say luck happens when preparation. That got his ass dropped, bro, bro. opportunity and definitely want to be prepared. 
So in the meantime, you know, I keep with the guy. I'm calling him out publicly in front of the paparazzi. I'm poking fun at him on that Instagram. That was funny right there. I can't spell his name. And just doing everything I can to try to rile this guy up, get him to fight me. And then finally, finally, after months and months of delays and three different fight dates and so hey. many phone calls, he announces it publicly on his Instagram with a fight date. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Sock. <laughs> he got a pop socket on his shit. Nigga, that's for sure. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, I'm fighting the best fighter on the planet. It's insane, bro. <laughs> the best one. Help. The and a lot of people been one. asking me, Logan, are you crazy? You must be insane. It's Floyd Mayweather. You could get about. seriously hurt. Logan, you could die in there. And here's the honest truth. About a year and a half ago, I was playing in a celebrity charity <laughs> basketball game smoke. against none smoke other than me. Floyd Mayweather. And during one of the plays, I kind of like fell over a little bit, and you can see he put his hands on me. He's kind of grabbing me like on, on both sides of my body. Just so disrespectful, you know. And I've never, I've never forgotten about that moment. I've Tell never, I've never forgotten about that, that moment. Type of disrespect on the court. It just, it sickens me. And so. But it's no, basketball, bro. Uh, I gotta kick his ass. <laughs> but yo, uh, I'm aware of the public he sentiment probably, on this fight. I got the whole world that. against me. Hood, it's not for me. I, I, believe, I, believe, I believe I can pull this off and my beliefs do not require or rely on the beliefs of others. I'm walking into this fight the happiest, the hungriest, the healthiest That's I've ever been. I'm six player, inches bro. taller, I'm about 50 pounds heavier, I'm half in age, like 51 less wins than him, and also absolutely nothing to lose. But this the guy nigga got literally everything to lose. If I knock this dude out, what if he not takes his ass out the right spot, this will be the biggest upset in the history of sports ever. This is crazy. The one defeated beats the undefeated. The bro. big guy beats the best guy. The YouTubing, boxing, Pokemon collecting, podcasting <laughs> beast from the East beats the greatest <laughs> boxer of all time. I can't write this shit. Our ancestors lived That's for crazy. this moment. And like right that, now, man. they have me winning at 5%. But uh, <laughs> fuck that, fuck you. Ironically enough, though, there is someone who beats Mayweather. They only got a five percent chance of winning. If Logan beats Mayweather, hey, holy sh <laughs> that would literally <laughs> destroy the internet. <laughs> but yeah, on February twentieth, twenty twenty one, we will once again be making history. I feel like it's gonna be canceled. It's gonna be canceled. Got training camp with the flying girls of the Maverick Club out in LA. Uh, can watch me train, train. Y'all know the Corona starting outbreak again, man. And you can enjoy the exclusive content. Y'all know the Corona starting outbreak again, bro. So you can already know, like, shit. We're gonna be Hangouts, uh, dinner in your city, Maverick yeah, clothing man, discounts, so. and more. And anyone who buys a piece of Maverick clothing from a brand new smirk shit. drop in the next seven days, I'm go. buying the fight for a hundred of you, and ten of you are gonna get free tickets to the Floyd Mayweather Logan Paul fight in 2021. And I'm also gonna be engraving your ten names in my boxing ring out back. The link for all that is in the description. Yeah, you guys are gonna love this clothing. It's crazy, high quality. It's beautiful. Anyways, man, who y'all think gonna win, man? Y'all think Logan Paul got it, or y'all think uh? Floyd got it, man. I ain't gonna count to y'all, but I think Floyd got it, bro. I think Floyd got it, bro. That nigga, can he, that nigga probably already back in the gym and shit, probably thinking like, man, these little ass, little ass son of a guns, motherfucker, little ass hoes, motherfucker, think they can whoop me, whoop me. Nigga just go back in the backyard to his uh, second mansion, <laughs> second mansion, go in the garage, that motherfucker, and make a video talking about something. This for inspiration. He said, we got the two Bentleys. We got, <laughs> y'all know what videos we doing on Instagram? He said, we got the two Bentleys. We got the Ferraris, the Lambo, the, the, the uh, uh, Rolls Royce. He got everything. He said, that everything in that garage, boy, that shit was gold. He had a bitch polishing that motherfucker at all, but. Anyways, man, who y'all think gonna win, man? Y'all boys like that video, man. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel, man, if you new, man. And comment what y'all boys want me to write to next, man. We out this bitch.